This exhibition is entitled Breathing History, Chapel of Reflection. In this exhibition, I titled Breathing History because we live in a particular time, a very important time, a time of crisis, a time of the falling of the, the, the economy, a time of the division of this country. We need time to reflect. We need time to come together. You know, it's, a, it's something that we need to address as a humanity, as a human beings, as a nation. As member of this world, we are not living alone. We need to share and grow together. I thank Clemente Sotovelle and the gallery here, Abrazo, because it really uh, it gave me that opportunity in the midst of crisis, in the middle of the COVID-19, in the middle of the fall of the economy, in, in the middle of the, ch the, the, the change of the new era. Uh, we are working, we are doing the, the creative process and somehow continue. It is, it is something that is, 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 is an energy, an energy that go beyond paradigms. And that's very important in the process of creation. When the environment for this show here, uh, I thought it was fantastic because first it was bottom mix, you know, like about Puerto Rican, but also about Haiti. And since I, I have a wonderful experience in Haiti in 1999, uh, I want to be part of the show. I, in that show over there, I, I was part of the fo uh, Multicultural Forum of Contemporary Art organized by the Haitian culture and uh, the uh, Canadian culture and African culture. And many people meet me when I will have my studio in Paris. They asked me to take in my piece down there to, to Haiti. And I, I, I was for three months over there. I, I taught at the, the Prince Art Institute and things like that. Over there, I created a whole installation, a performance piece that I did with charcoal, because when I was in the airplane, I saw that the, the, the whole area about this was a whole deforestation over there. And when I actually was in Port-au-Prince, I saw these mountains of sack of charcoal. And I, I found it interesting when I, uh, when I started associating this, my work with, with the, the life that I was living there, I realized that when I saw this woman full of charcoal, all her body and having basket and, and roll from Haiti and all the other women uh, buying the charcoal, putting in her head, huge basket of charcoal. And I was so amazed with that. This is what I was with the architect Pierre Richard. He said, oh, I want that from my work. He said, you want the woman? I said, no, 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 I want the charcoal. I want the basket, I want the roll to associate it with the work. So I dress in white and I have a knife and I, start, I have a free sack of wonderful charcoal and I start creating the dancing capoeira and then I created a whole, the whole uh, 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 circle around. Coming back here to Clemente Soto Vélez and I have that experience from 1999 to now. And then I saw this pole, this pole here, this column, and I associated with the pole that, oh, I call it tocón, that they, they use in, uh, in, in rituals in, in Haiti. But then I saw as a contemporary art. I saw this ritual, we as an artist, as a, me as, a, as an archeologist, looking for the mythology of the 21st century. So the main part was the column, which I associated with the old paradigms, like the Greek and all the establishment. So every time that I see something like this, uh, I try to transform it. And when I start drawing here, I decided that I don't want to draw. I want just to use the brush and paint. I just have a wonderful time working in that way. The whole story in Haiti started in Paris for the death of my father. My father died in February 6, 1999. I just arrived to Paris, it was a four day, and I sensed it when he died. I actually called to Puerto Rico and I told them, eh, I know he died. I said, how do you know he died? I said, because I sense it here in my studio in Paris. He was a, a symbol in La Playa. Although he was born in Belgica and Ponce, he actually eh, grew up in La Playa and uh, he was a symbol of the dog worker. I saw a vision of him, a, a, a cacique Indian coming out from this, his face, you know, he said, um, it's, it's no longer a body, it's, it's, it's what I saw was a vision, it's a feeling, it's a, an energy thing. I was very moved, very moved by doing this. 
And that's what I call the Trans-Caribbean. I call it Trans-Caribbean because it's not just La Playa. I, I had the memory from La Playa, but I was in Paris. And then it, it, I'm remembering what I was there from the other side and connecting in that a, a spiritual form. It was very powerful to me. You see, that was, that's why Paris became very important in terms of meditation. I meditated every day they, when I was over there. Here, I work with the Paquerette flowers there that I used to see on the Marche de Alegre. I, I use the broom uh, of the Madama that was tied up with rope and everything there. And that broom is converted into the map of Paris. Uh, since a little kid, I always listened to this Bonsoir Paris. So Bonsoir Paris. This African woman that we call in Puerto Rico Madama is bringing presence to Paris. And this is what I call the basket of syncretism, manual of syncretism. That, that's where the title of the syncretism comes from. It was a very important moment in Paris, in the whole world, because uh, when I asked the French people, what do you think about globalization? I tell them, I said, no, this is, this is uh, something from you. Here we call that uh, mundialization. But when they tell about, you think you're gonna be part of that? They say, they say no, we're not gonna be part of that before. Today they have the, the European Union. And then I remember that was the time, the time, uh, the switching time, the change, from the Paris as nation to become part of the, of the European Union. But it's very interesting how uh, looking at that part of the globalization, what they call it mundialization, and looking at the part of the past connected with the whole issue of, of my roots or our roots, and, and that's what I call a syncretism, because it, everything gets connected at the spiritual level. I want to talk also about this idea of spirituality and how it's connected to the new era. It is not about following paradigms or dogma or things like that. If not, it's to see what is good and positive for every single belief and how we put it together in this new era as a new way of thinking. I'm not talking about being an archaeologist, an archaeologist that the it's like, the, it's like the new Phoenix bird. You know the story of the Phoenix birds that the, from Egypt, that the, every 500 years a new a Phoenix bird born, and the mother always carried to the, temp, the, the temple of the sun in Egypt, so a, a, this new bird, a Phoenix bird can fly for another 500 years. So this era, the past era, finished. So we are, we are like in a, in a new, Finisburg, we are growing together. We are going into a different direction. There are so many, there, there would, of course, there will be a negative and a positive energy. So if we choose the positive energy, it will be a wonderful thing. So one of the positive energy are looking at the elements, the main, the, best, the basics of the elements. Clean air is very important for us. It represented with the light blue, you know, the, the, the kind of Silurian blue. Uh, water, good water, accessible to everyone, is good for us. The element of water represented with the, with the crescent moon and with the white color. Having energy, positive energy, the fire is a very good thing for us. And the, the element of fire represented with the triangle and the red color. Because, you know, in order to activate our brain, sometimes we need to uh, certain fire, you know. Uh, so we activate the, the brain and somehow we deal with this energy that we don't see, that with the ether, and then we let the energy flow, you know? Fire and water go together, air, circulate things. The realization of the idea into something that, in the new society, a new way of, of, of living, a new way of what we, we all can live together. I think that's a wonderful experience. So I'm using this uh, symbol of the uh, Finnish uh, in my own way, of course, uh, to represent that, to represent that we are looking for a new way of all uh, humanity, a new way of living, a new way of, uh, of growing together. Because if we continue the way we are, we're going to be destroying ourselves.